It's more than I expected, you know? Because we haven't really been trying, that's the thing. It's not like we're saying, hey, we're open for business, you know, bring us all your, start confiscating chimpanzees. We've been telling them we can't take anymore, but yet it, it still keeps happening. Well, I, we feel like lucky and really privileged to be able to work with them. Um, and then you get to know them and they're just these, Amazing little people that you you know you get to know and, and, and they're all different and everything like that. <laughs> yes, it's like it's it's crazy. We've had chimps in our house for since we've been here pretty much. The chimps come in traumatized psychologically, usually physically sick, so there's a lot of dealing with illnesses and um, sadness and, and psychological damage. Um, but, of course, the big reward is when you get that first smile and that first laugh. And I always say my favorite reward that I get is when I have a baby who's sleeping next to me and they, they laugh in their sleep. You've seen uh, Connie's first real smile. It's challenging because they're like little kids, except they're almost, in a way, more needy. You know, if Jenny is on the couch with one of them and then she gets up to move like one or two feet away, they start freaking out, you know. And they're super emo emotional too. They need this 24-7 care. Max doesn't get this now. He has 50 years of being alive and, and being stressed and worried and anxious and not a happy guy. And so that's what keeps you going and keeps you motivated. Um, and I think that's why taking care of these guys, it feels like a real lifetime commitment and a real, um, just a, a intense commitment.